previously on The Walking Dead. I'm freezing. Wait till we get up to Wellington. Then talk to me about coal. Now I'm gonna go look for more wood. Where's the rest of your group? I I'm by myself. Bullshit! <gasps> Clementine, run! I'm out. Grab her. Let's go. Would someone mind telling me what the fuck is going on here? She was bit by a dog. For all we know, she could be working with Carver. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I'm thinking about moving on. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? You were in the woods with Krista. Ah! I'm fine. I'm fine. Just... just lost my footing. Damn it. God damn it. Come this way! Damn it, you get your asses over here, both of you! shouldn't be able to get through that. On the downside, we can't get through them. What are you looking at? Staring ain't polite. How are you feeling? Well, other than this bite, I'm just peachy. Hand me that there. Bleed out like a stuck pig. What are you gonna do? Carry me out of here on your back? Hell. It's just... Just give me a minute. Try to get some rest. There's a lot of stuff in here. I'll try to find something to help. So here we are. Um, there doesn't seem to be many good choices made in that last season as they would have went with the other guy rather than going across here, but eh, it's all made the choices for us. So we'll just see how we're getting on with it really. Um, here we look. The keys are still in it. Well, worth a shot. Let's see if this fucking starts up. Push a button. And no. Out of gas. I 
Let's we'll save the day. Anything in that? Not much. <coughs> Here. Thanks. I'll keep looking around. in there. Anything we can use? Give me one of those. Probably tastes like pine tar by now, but I'd smoke a dead coon's tail if you had one. Got a light? Tastes about as bad as it smells. Now what? We wait. That's not a good idea. I'm gonna be stuck in here with a zombie probably. Still. Are you alive? <laughs> oh, damn it. I feel like ten pounds of shit in a five pound sack. <coughs> Jesus. Stuck in this can the whole damn day. You want to hear something funny? I've been thinking, and I don't want to die. <laughs> oh, I never thought I'd be the kind of idiot to say something like that, but there it is. I'm scared, Clementine. Jesus, I'm scared. You're going to be okay. Oh, at least spare me the bedside bullshit. Sorry. Would you, would you promise me you'll watch out for Nick? I love that stupid kid. No matter what you think, he is a good boy. I'll do what I can. Thank you. Been almost a day. They ain't gonna find us. Where are you going? Fight some zombies. I'm not getting out of this. You're gonna have to make a break for it. I'll buy you some time. Thank you, Pete. You go find my nephew now, right? Wait for my signal and run straight to the woods. Just keep moving. All right. Let's get this over with.
Eh, there's no reason for that. Took him with us, I suppose. Clementine, are you all right? Luke's not with you? Where's Alvin? What happened? It's been hours. Where are they? Clem! Pete got bit. What? What happened? Walkers. My God. Where were you? Where were you exactly? Down by the stream. We gotta go. Just hold on a minute. My husband is still out there! Get the guns! Luke and Alvin went out looking for you. I told them not to go. Damn it, Luke. Clementine, can you, can you please watch Sarah? She's upstairs. Just distract her and don't tell her anything. Just go. Hurry. You'll be safe inside. Just don't open the doors for anything. We'll be back soon. And they never came back. Say cheese! I found this under the house. There was all kinds of old stuff. It's so cool. Take one of me. Come on, take one of me. Sure. Get me in a good pose, okay? Okay, I'm ready. What's wrong? Um, where's my dad? He'll be fine. Are you sure? Sorry, I, I, I just need to... Hey, Luke's back. That's a hint for what I should have done. Calm fishing. We'll see. out the window. Mm. That's sprint. Excellent. That's not Luke. Clem, I think I know him. He can't see me. You have to make him go away. What? Why can't he see you? Actually, I'm your neighbor. Neighbor? That's right. My family and I are set up a ways down river. I'm kind of surprised we haven't run into each other yet. What's your name? What's your name? <laughs> My name is George, honey. Pleasure to meet you. You mind if I come in for a bit? Would you please leave? This is a nice place. Is there anyone else around? You don't usually see cabins this big out here. We have a big group. Lots. Oh? How big? Dozens. They'll be back soon. And they left you here all alone. They must trust you. Well, I'll cut to the chase. I'm out looking for my people. 
Seven of them, to be exact. They've been gone a long while, and I'm worried they might have gotten lost. Maybe you've seen them. A couple of farm boys and an old man. A Spanish guy and his daughter. A quiet girl. A bit taller than you. A big black guy. This big. I haven't seen him. Well, that's a shame. You sure? Pretty sure. Well, looks like a damn tornado ran through here. Must be like close to ten people with you? More. Hmm. Just passing through or you been here a while? Hey, listen, kid. I hope you're not one of those nuts headed up north looking for Shangri-La. Just passing through. Going north. Whole lot of people headed that way lately. Me, I don't get it. There's just as much nothing up there as there is down here. The cold slows them down. Well, that's not worth the trade, in my opinion. Where does this go? Uh, in the drawer there. It's a real nice place. Kind of cozy. I knew a guy that always wore shirts like this. Doctor. Real smug son of a bitch. But a smart man. What happened to him? Let's just say we had our differences. Sooner or later, people close to you will find a reason to cross you. Happens every time. Well, well. White's in trouble. Three moves away from checkmate. What was that? I thought you said nobody's here. Nobody is here. I told you, nobody's here. Seems that way. Didn't mean to be rude. Couldn't just leave you here with a good conscience if someone was poking around, right? Sure. Who's this? Must be someone who lived here. Must be. You have no idea who these people are, do you? Do you know them? Let me ask you this. When you met them, how much did they trust you? What's your point? If people don't trust you, how can you trust them? I oh, like this guy. I hope we're gonna have to get rid of him soon. Well, I think I've troubled you long enough. Yes, you I have. I can help myself out. Good. Why shouldn't I trust them? You have a real good day now. Where is he? He's gone. What if he comes back? Then we're fucked. We need to find the others. We 
can't go outside. Clementine. Sarah. Well, they told me about Pete. You know where he is, right? Come on, let's go. A man was here. What? What did she say? Someone came to the cabin. What? Clementine talked to him. And you just opened the door for him? Calm down, Rebecca. Calm down? I am calm. You calm down. I didn't open the door. He just came in. She's telling the truth. Did he say his name? Did he say what his name was? Maybe it wasn't him. You know damn well who it was. He said his name was George. George? That's what he said. Look, Clem, just tell us what he looked like. What was he wearing? Did he sound different? He had a big brown coat. Did it have a lining? A collar? Yeah, fur. He talked about you, Dad. You're not gonna hurt anyone, are you? Of course he won't, Sarah. Right, your dad's the nicest man I know, which is why he's not gonna do anything crazy or not nice, right? You know these are bad people, sweetie. They will do or say anything to hurt us. Now, right, what do you think? Did it seem like he'd be coming back? He saw a picture of me. A picture? What were you doing taking pictures? Carlos. What? You need to calm down. All right, you're scaring your daughter. I took the picture. It's my fault. No, I asked her to. It's my fault. Sarah. He was scouting. We got lucky. He wasn't expecting to find us. Clementine must have surprised him. She hadn't been there. Well, he was too smart to stick around, but he'll be back with the rest. We don't have much time. He's right. Everyone pack up. We're moving now. Alvin, wait! We have to leave now, sweetie, before he comes back with more bad guys. But it's gonna be okay. Let's just go get your things. Where are we going? Anywhere but here. Into the mountains, maybe. Clem, I don't know what he told you, but William Carver is a dangerous man. He's the leader of a camp not far from here, and he's very smart. We were lucky to escape. Look, I'm sorry to involve you, but now that he's seen you, you'll be safer with us. We have to leave. We have to find Pete. We'll get him on the way out, Nick. Clementine, you know where he was, right? Yeah. All right. Everybody grab your stuff. Let's, Let's go the kill road. zombie Pete. Now you said it was just up here? Yeah, just a little ways. Hey, Clem. Sorry if I gave you some shit back there. I'm just a little on edge. Fuck you, bitch. It's just a tough time right now with the pregnancy and all. You need to stop bossing me around. This hasn't been easy on me. But I'm trying, Clem. I know you did your best back there. You know, none of us would make it on our own. Sometimes it's hard knowing just how dependent I am on everyone. I'm not used to that. I'm not comfortable with that. I'm supposed to be a mom soon. Guess I need to work on my patience. Alvin and I still don't know what to call her. Or him if that man gets his wish. God help me. Any ideas? Clem? There. That's where we were. He's not in here. This was the last place I saw him. Maybe he's around here somewhere. Keep your eyes open, and stay in sight. Pete! Did he survive? I'm sure we're about to find out all at this angle. This camera angle's a bit... Oh! Oh! Nope. Anyone Whoa. see him? Found him. Oh, 
Oh my god. What happened? What the hell happened? He's been shot. Ooh. He didn't have a gun. That's Who different. did this? Son of a bitch. We need to go. He's gone. Nick, he, he, he's gone. We gotta get moving. Come on, man. Tell me. Tell me how it happened. He saved my life. Well, that was... that was Pete. I'm sorry. I'm worried about that kid. Keep an eye on him for me, would you? You... Sure you still want to come with us? Look, I know we got off to a rough start, and I can't make any promises it won't get rougher, but we all know you now. Yeah, I'm with you guys. And we are glad to have you. Not everyone is. Well, they'll get there. I figure we got about four or five days to reach those mountains. Now, if they're tracking us, we should be able to lose them up there. Five days? It's gonna be okay, Beck. We have to keep moving now. It's our only choice. little time lapse there for it. Jump ahead of five days. <clears throat> see anything? Well, she better see something. We've been walking for a damn week. There's a building on the mountain. What's it look like? It's big. That sounds like a good place to spend the night. Here, eat this bag. There's a lift or something. Chairlift? It must be that ski resort. I've never been skiing. Beck and I went once. It wasn't pretty. And there's a bridge. It looks there's broad the as fuck. And does it look passable? No. Nope. I think so. Good. There's a little house by the bridge. How big is it? It's pretty small. We have to cross that bridge. Let's go. Hold on now. We can't all go sprinting across that thing, okay? We get spotted out there, we're gonna be trapped. Going around that lake will take too long. Right, but look, we've got no idea who's out there. Okay, I'm gonna sneak across, make sure it's clear before we bring the whole group over. You think splitting up the group is a good idea? Well, I never said it was a good idea, but... It's better than risking everyone at once. What's your plan? Clem and I can scoot across low and slow, make sure nobody's waiting for us on the other side. We'll have a tough time covering you from back here. Well, we'll just turn back if it gets hairy. Clementine should stay here. She's... She's what? She's just a little girl, Luke. I can do it. See? No problem. It's gonna be fine. Okay, we'll signal you guys in ten minutes. Just watch for a light at the far side. I can go too. You stay with the group. I'm fine, Luke. I don't like this. Yeah, well, when's the last time you liked anything, Carlos? If something happens, I'll cover you. Come on. Hey, uh, sorry about that. I just could really use your eyes, and right now I don't trust Nick to tie his own shoes. You're just still on edge after the Carver thing. It's been five days. Why would Carver still be following us? What's the most important thing in this world? 
What does everyone want? Even the gangs. Now, what do you think they're all after? Safety? Close. Listen, what's the one thing a guy would walk hundreds of miles to get back? Family. It's a tough world out there without people you can trust. I think World of Food Anyways, was the you, actual answer there. You can ask Rebecca. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to get in the middle of it. We've all made mistakes. Done things that we regret. Seems like we're already in the middle of it. Tell me about it. Oop, zombie. I'll get the little cripple one. Hmm. Can't shoot him. Too much noise. Let's take him. I like your style. I'll take the big one. You get short. Wish we could use guns. Got it. I'll take the small one. Good. Let's do it. I'm gonna push him off a ledge. Steady. Steady. Oh, 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 boom. <laughs> I'm stuck. Go ahead. Give it a good pull. It should come free. I know. I've done this before, remember? Nice work, kid. Ow. Absolutely terrible at these. 
these action sequences, I'm sure I'm gonna get myself killed again. We'll see. Oh. Shoot or chop. But I keep hitting W there every time it tells us it's push E. Let's keep going. You see him? Oh. Yeah. Just play it cool. You do the talking. What? Why me? I don't want to get in a fight. You really think he chewed a little girl? Just don't make any sudden moves. And don't piss him off. <laughs> I you. chewed me? Well, that's a hell of a thing to say. I'm just saying. Well, if it comes to that, I'll shoot him first. Well, who are you? Well, who's asking? I am. We're a little lost. Lost, huh? Huh. You don't look like assholes. Are you assholes? No offense or anything, but you know how it is out here. We're just people. Fair enough. You folks headed north, like everyone else? Everyone else? I see at least one group a day move through here. They all look the same. Have you seen someone named Krista? Krista? Maybe. Really? No, I mean, a lot of people come through here. I don't know. I gotta say, you two look like shit. If you need food, I've got some canned stuff in that station back there. Well, that's uh, awful nice of you. What's the catch? No catch. I've got plenty. Well, all right then. Thank you. Hey, no problem. <clears throat> nice running into friendly faces out here. Like I said, I've got food and supplies back in the station. And if you want... Oh, dear. What the fuck, man? What the hell is he doing? No, 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 no. He's, he's with us. Nick! No! Put it down! Nick! No! Who did? <laughs> Nick, what a bad end. Did I hit him? Where is he? I told you not to shoot. What? Who was that guy? He was going to help us. How do you know? Damn it, Nick. I told you not to shoot. How was I supposed to hear you? You gave me a clear shot. That shot rang out for miles. We gotta get off this bridge. Let's go. Spy gun? No one? No, okay. Let's jog on with that then. I don't know. Looked like he had a gun on you. That asshole drew on me. He was about to shoot. Oh, was he? I'm telling you, man, he drew first. Shut up, Nick. What did you see, Clem? Was that guy gonna shoot? Fuck you, Luke. You've been on my case the whole week. He wasn't gonna do anything. I know what I saw. Either way, you could have hit one of us. Yeah, but I didn't. 
Look, I, I know Pete was close to you, Nick, but you can't... Don't fucking talk about him. You think he was with Carver? I don't know. I... No, I don't... I don't think so. But he fell over. He fell off the damn bridge? We have to keep moving. I can't. I need a minute. Fine. Luke, can I talk to you alone? Nope. Hey, Clem. You got anything to eat? Bex is dying here. Hi, princess. Elvis, I told you I'm fine. Sorry, I'm out. Wish we still had those juice boxes. Yeah, me too. That man said he had food in the station. Mind checking it out? Maybe we could spend the night here. A little small for us, though. Sure. Thanks, Clem. Sounds weird when I say it out loud, huh? Luke always used to push me. I never wanted to go into business with him. I remember when he sold me on his big plan. Some fucking plan. Case of beer in, he just said, Nick, we're burning daylight. And that was that. After six months, we were flat broke. I didn't care. We were having fun. I wish I was like him. I wish I could just keep moving all the time. I'm just not built like that. I'm sure they're talking about me right now. Look, he's becoming a danger to the group. So who was that guy? I swear. It looked like he was holding you guys up. He could have been anybody. Right, we don't know. How do we know he wasn't with Carver anyway? If Alvin is in front of me, he takes that shot. What a fucking mess. Maybe I am losing it. I don't know anymore. God, I'm hungry. What time is it anyway? Damn. Damn. What's wrong? I left my watch back at the cabin. It was Pete's. He gave it to me. I found it back at the cabin. Let me grab it. What? Really? Thank you. Should have probably kept that. This means... Thank you, Clem. You know what? I'm gonna go talk to them. Plenty of food, or did we come for no reason? The man said he had lots of food. There's got to be something left. <clears throat> I don't see a key around here. That man probably had it. Feels pretty good. Huh. 
I guess he slept here. It's dead. Visible walled. It's a lot of fun. Rebecca, are you okay? I'm all right. I just need a little rest and some food. Alvin. Zombies, not enough to talk to. I suppose I'm gonna use the knife on that chest to open it, actually. Man, not thought we had a bed. Look at this dump. Guess he did have food. Man, fuck Nick. Nick's lost a lot of his people, that's for sure. He was trying to help us. Yeah, and someone died. I ain't no judge, but that's straight up murder in my book. I mean, you ever know anyone to do a thing like that? Actually, yeah. What happened? A woman in our group. Her dad died, and... And she shot another guy. Damn. What'd you do? My friend forgave her. Huh. And then she stole our car and left us. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. She looks just like you. Cheeky motherfucker. Hey, Clem, there's not a lot of food here, and Rebecca... Well, she's eating for two. You think we can keep this just between us? I hate to even say it, you know, but... The whole group should decide. I know you're right. It's just so hard right now. It's a shame. Nick was a good guy. He's still a good guy. He's just losing it. I'm going crazy. God knows we're not perfect. Hell, I'm glad you're with us, Clementine. The hell is that? Walkers. We got a problem here. Yeah, we saw it. All right, we're heading up. For. We have to be careful. Careful? We've been on the road for five days. My back is done being careful. Doesn't look like anybody's home. Damn. Nail down tight. I'll check around front. I'll go with you. Well, it'd be good to know if anybody's actually back there. Probably get a better view from up top. You'd have an easier time getting up there. You 
Feel like taking a look? Mm. It'll be just like climbing a treehouse. I had a treehouse once. Well, there you go. I hated it. <laughs> oh. If this is a mini game, I'm gonna be absolutely fine. Just take it slow, and I'll catch you if you fall. Lies. Probably. You got a good grip? Yeah. When I was a kid, we used to jump rooftops downtown. Now that was fun. Well, that sounds stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. The trick was not to look down, though. Hey. <gasps> whoa, whoa, whoa. You're fine. You're fine. Just look at me, okay? You're you're fine. All right, just just slow down, just for a second, okay? I know I'm fine. Just trying to help. Climb. Made it. See anything? I can see the bridge. Ooh. Wait, I see something. What is it? A light. But wait, there's another. Luke. Luke. Hey, he fucking left us. What dick? Should I leave them? Listen, everyone, just stay no, calm. Who are you? Are you trying to rob us? Excuse me, honey, but do I look like a fucking thief? Everyone calm down. <laughs> hey, man, you calm the fuck down. Sarah, get behind just me. Just tell us who you are. We ain't here to rob nobody. Put the gun down, fuck man. Fuck that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Please, just do what he says. Holy shit, it's Kenny! you know this guy? Clementine? I'll take that as a yes. These people with you? We can talk inside. Great. I just started dinner. Are you sure you don't mind? It's gonna storm soon. Please, come in. What we kills them assholes at the bottom of the mountain? Hope we didn't kill Kenny's friend. If I remember right, Kenny was an asshole in season one. Kenny and Sarita have been staying with us for several weeks. Used to be a ski lodge, obviously, so we have plenty of food. And uh, believe it or not, we still get some power from that wind turbine out front. We tend to keep most of the lights off at night to avoid drawing attention. But after we found this stuff in storage, we couldn't resist making an exception. What's funny? Oh, nothing, Walt. Walter here's one smart some bitch. Makes a mean can of beans, too. Well, why don't you two catch up while I get some dinner started? Please, make yourselves at home. You can leave your things over there. The hell we will. Yeah, I'm holding on to my rifle. Thanks. You're our guest here. There's no need to worry. Tell him to put his gun down, then. Kenny? Will you vouch for these people, Clem? If you tell me they're good, then I'm good. Us. You were the one waving a gun around, man. We're cool, okay? Hey, hey, we're cool. We're cool. They're cool. Oh, 
hope they're gonna be cool. <laughs> Dad, look! A Christmas tree! Not now, Sarah. Isn't it great? We found it all in storage. It's amazing. Good. If you'll all follow me, I'll show you where you can sleep. Still wearing this dirty old thing, huh? You know, I half expected to see Lee walk up next to you. You guys were like two peas in a pod. Oh shit, I didn't mean to... It's just hard not to think about it, you know? He saved me. I knew it. I knew he would. That guy had a fire in him, sure as shit. Lee and I had our differences, that's for sure. But when my son, well, he was there for me. So, where'd you end up? I was with Krista and Omid. Omid, well, Krista and I were together for a while. These guys caught us. She's gone. Sounds like it ain't been easy for you. I'm sorry, darling. I wish I could have found you sooner. Krista told me you were dead. I am. This is all a dream. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, what a dick. bad joke. Krista got in a hell of a mess. I gave her a hand and then it got messier. For a minute there, it wasn't looking too good for old Kenny. Long story short, I got lucky. Real lucky. Spent a long time alone after that. It, uh... And then I met Sarita. Thank God. Gosh, it's great to have you back. You two catching up? Clem, this is my girl, Sarita. Ain't she beautiful? Nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, Walt, where's Matthew? He's still out there rooting around? Of course he is. Well, I'll start dinner. Carlos, right? Mind if I steal your daughter for a secret mission? Stay in sight, sweetie. Can we do anything to help? Could use a hand outside. We got a lot of supplies to bring in before that storm hits. Sure. Clem, why don't you help Walt with dinner? Oh, this guy looks hey, Clementine. Creepy. Settling in well enough? Yeah, thanks. Excellent. Want to help me prepare a little dinner? So how do you know Kenny? He and Sarita have been a huge help. Matthew and I barely knew what to do around here the first week. We're old friends. I met him after it happened. When he was with Lee? Yeah, he only told us a little. Connecting with people is so important. I don't know what I'd do without Matthew. Gosh, you remind me of my students. I can't imagine what it's like growing up in the middle of all this. Everyone underestimates me. I expect you've used that to your advantage. Sometimes. Smart girl. Hmm. Almost done. Would you do me the honor of tasting the first course, madam? What is this? Le Walter Surprise. 
an autumnal legume salad with a peach roux. It's peaches and beans. It's all we got. Hmm. Huh. Striking resemblance. Anyway, I'll take it from here. Reminds me of school. I haven't seen one of these What's since. What's song you're humming? Good King Wenceslas. It's my favorite Christmas song. Clem, we could use some help. Here, Sarah, you take this and string them up over there. You knew Kenny before. It must be incredible to see him again. When I met him, well, he's so different now. But you must be so glad. So, how'd you meet Kenny? I found him holed up in an old restaurant, if you can believe it. Hold up? You should have seen his beard then. Perfect. Now we just need the topper. We always had an angel on top of our tree. My family didn't celebrate Christmas, but I still love the decorations. Find a tree topper, we're for charge. What a funny little guy. Cousin Jared's concert, October 13th. It's been a week, man. We gotta be out of the woods. We can't be sure. They might be tracking us. <clears throat> tracking? Who do you think they are? Ninjas? Clem, Luke said you saw some people in the valley. People? Way down there. How? I saw lights. Which way did they go? Back into the woods. We cannot take any chances. We leave at dawn. But we're safe here for tonight, right? Clementine, you talked to that man Walter, right? What did he say? You didn't tell him anything about us, did you? We have to be careful. Something's wrong. They have the same kind of food that we found in the station. What? That doesn't mean anything. It could have been stolen. What if it wasn't? Look, I don't care what that man said. We're staying here tonight. Just talk to the rest of them. They trust you. See what you can find out. I'm gonna go find Luke. 
Honey, I don't feel so good. Zombie! Hey, what's wrong? I just need something to drink. You got it. I'll be right back. Are you okay? Just got a little dizzy. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I mean, how can anyone now? I think it's possible. How do you know? Well, I'm still here. I know it's gonna be hard. But at the same time, I already feel a little less lonely. Because I know that no matter what happens, I'll get to meet someone new. She's kicking. You wanna listen? That food smells good, huh? Can I? She's gonna be a runner. If he finds out it's not his, he'll kill me. I don't know what to do. I can't believe I'm asking a little girl for advice. I... I wouldn't say anything. There's my man. You all right, baby? I'm fine, you big dope. Just need to get some food in you. Shocking around. Thanks for staying with her, Clem. Can you go ask that Walter guy when we're gonna eat? I love you, silly bear. I hate it when you call me that. I know, but I mean it. I love you too. You get some rest now. That's nice, I guess. Beautiful. Uh, I used to love this time of year. You know, now that your friends are here, this place is starting to feel like a real home. Bang. Matthew and Walter are amazing people. Honestly, it's dangerous to be this kind, but they can't help it. Wait until you meet Matthew. He's a real character. The first time he met me, he called me Rita. Where is Matthew? Oh, he likes to go on long walks. He and Walter used to vacation here. He should be back soon. I think we may have killed Walter. Clem, I wanted to ask you, does Kenny seem different to you? I didn't know him before, and, well, I'm curious. He does seem different than I remember. In what way? I'm not sure. Well, you three have been busy. Kenny, isn't it great? I got it, huh? I think I can manage, Ken. I said I got it. Always has to play the gentleman. But I'll tell you, when I met him, he couldn't lift a fly. Well, everyone, dinner is served. Come on, let's eat. Peaches and beans. Sounds fucking rancid. You okay, man? Yeah, I'm just... I wish I hadn't pulled that trigger. Just try to forget about it. Right here, Clem. Oh. New old group. New old group. Um, we'll go the new guys. I don't want to sit next to the creepy pedophile guy. So what's the deal with your friend here? Yes, we were just talking about this, Kenny. What do you make of him, Clem? I trust him. With your life? I think so. Walter was telling me his family died. That's horrible. Thing like that can hit a guy pretty hard. He lost his whole family? Wife and kid. He lost it a little after that. Lost it half? Well, he drinks. Oh. Well.
Hey there. Hey. Hope you like the food. Oh, it's... it's great. Thank you. Peaches and beans. Great for nutrition. Not too great on the way out, though, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's Luke and Nick. Luke and Nick. You guys sure do look like a match. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just saying you look like good friends, that's all. So, what was your plan here? Hold out for the winter? Actually, we were thinking of moving on. Somewhere up north. You ever heard of a place called Wellington? Wellington? The hell is that? A place. What kind of place? Yeah, it's in the north. Supposed to be a big camp up near Michigan. Michigan? You got a hearing problem, kid? Yeah, Michigan. Think about it. Fresh water, lots of land, and cold-ass winter so the walkers get slow. Sounds like bullshit. Listen, Vanilla Ice, I don't know what your deal is, but you're more than welcome to take off in the morning. That'd be just fine by me. What's the deal with these guys, Clem? Hey, fuck you, buddy. It's fine, Nick. We're not staying. She's staying. Please, don't fight. Gentlemen, please. There's no need for this. Now look, we've all had a long day. Please eat. Pass me that can, duck. <gasps> duck? Who's Duck? Duck was his son. Hey, Clementine. Would you, uh, lend me a hand outside for a moment? Oh, dear. Uh, I'm sorry about that. You know, I used to be a teacher. And I remember what it's like to be caught in the middle of two clicks. I suspect they'll find common ground soon enough. It may take a little time, but that's just how these things work. Everything will be fine. Listen, relationships are like any machine. You don't throw them out when they break down. You get your hands dirty, and you grease the wheels. Everything will not be fine. <sighs> Do you really think everyone can just get along? They say the world is over, but I'll tell you a secret. It's not. People are more political now than they ever were before. In the end, we can't change the world. All we can do is continue to learn from each other, to empathize and use our heads. All war is a symptom of man's failure as a thinking animal. Steinbeck, have you read him? Well, we have plenty of time to catch you up on your reading. My partner Matthew is amassing quite the literature collection. I think you'll like him. In any case, the point is, as long as we have our wits about us, we can always make the right choice. Right? Right. Fine. What's the matter, Clementine? Is there something you want to tell me? You can talk to me, Clem. There's almost nothing you could tell me that would surprise me. I can promise you that. I'm worried about your friend. I think that... Don't worry. Matthew will be back soon. And everything will be fine. But I think... Hey, kids. What are you two talking about? Oh, politics. The hell? Well, being from Florida, I would imagine you know all about politics, Kenny. Man, I know one advantage of living in the apocalypse is not dealing with that shit no more. I was just gonna check the windows round back before this storm hits. Give us a hand? Sure. Miss? Please, do you have any food? Are you okay? I saw the house and I have a family. We're starving. We live down there. Uh, uh, of course. Why don't you come in, Miss... Bonnie. Walt, I don't know. You just gonna let her in like that? It's fine, Kenny. We don't know this girl. Then we'll have to get to know her. 
Right, Clem? Walt. How much damage can this poor woman do? Check her for weapons. Yeah. Thank you. Really, but that storm will be on us soon, and I gotta get back to my family. I'll bring something out to you, then. You don't have to do that. No, no, it's fine. What about your people? We've got plenty. You stay put. I'll be right back. I have a little girl like you. How old no, already are you I don't trust Bonnie. She looks twitchy. I'm eleven. I would have thought older than that. Here you are, miss. This is too much. Don't mention it. I don't know how to thank you. Just help someone else down the line. Thank you so much. I'll be going now. You stay safe. You too. Clem, go on inside and get to bed. Walt and I gotta talk for a second. Bridge was Walter's friend. Oh, fuck. See, I knew something was off, so I asked Sarita about their friend. I know he was. For sure. Damn it. Damn it, Nick. I don't think Walter knows yet, so we have to keep this quiet. I mean, who knows what the hell he'd do if he found out. We should tell him. He's gonna ask who did it, and you're gonna tell him. It's the right thing to do. It's right to get Nick killed because that's what's gonna happen. Now, do you, uh, you still have that knife? Because if it was Matthews and Walter sees it, he's gonna put two and two together. It's with the other weapons. Okay, well, go get rid of it. I'll find Walter and run interference. Oh, and, uh, keep an eye out for Nick. I'm right here. What's up? Oh, uh, there's nothing, man. I just wanted to check and see if you're okay. Luke? Hey, if there's something going on, I want to know. No, just go back to bed, Nick. I'm serious. You guys can talk to me. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. God damn it. Hey, Nick, shut the fuck up. I can't, man. I can't. Do not fucking blow it. Blow it? It's over. I have to tell him, Luke. What? No, you can hey, Nick, you cannot do that. Are you fucking nuts? I gotta. I can't live with that on me. Okay, I hear you, but I mean, fuck, man. Do you know what he's gonna do? You should tell him. Yeah, yeah. Nick, I'm warning you. This is fucking suicide. I'll live with it. Jesus Christ. Jesus. I can't handle this. Look, Clem, just go do that thing, all right? It's gone. like this knife. Gave it to Matthew when all this started. I know he's dead. Who did it? Was it that, that kid? What's his name? Uh, Nick? Heard him talking earlier, something about shooting a man. I could see it. Oh, snap. I could see it on his face. 
wasn't sure then, but now... It was us. It was our fault. Jesus. I, um... Uh, I don't feel good. Nick shot him. Is Nick a good man, or is he just like everyone else? He is. He's a good guy, Walter. He was always going out alone. I told him something like this would happen, but he wouldn't listen. No, Matt always knew best. What's going on? You need to tell him. Tell him what? What happened on the bridge. Shit. Tell me what you did. Just tell me, son. Tell me what happened. From a distance, it looked like anyone. I, 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 thought, I thought he was going to shoot my friends, and I I shot Matthew. But it, 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 it happened real fast. I didn't, I didn't know if I hit him, but I did, and I didn't mean to. Do you know what you've done to me? Do you have any idea? I didn't mean to. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Walter. Quick, scan the trees with me. Good idea. Let's set it on fire. I'll do. Ammunition. We gotta get back to the lodge. They're behind us. Bro, 
bullets. And we're done. Judge that guy. Clem, get inside. Go. Clementine, are you okay? What the hell? Come for his babe. Howdy, folks. Where's Rebecca? Carver. It's nice to see you, too. place, Bonnie? Power and everything. A lot of windows, though. It's fucking huge. Bill's gonna hate it. Now the rest of them could be anywhere. Man, how the fuck are we gonna cover these guys and look for them, too? Johnny, cover that window.
Listen, I'm only gonna ask you once. Where's Rebecca? Sarah, look at me. It's gonna be okay. Oh! Oh! Rebecca! Oh! Rebecca! Shit. Our baby deserves to be raised in a place of safety. I know you're out there. Oh! Alvin, Luke, and the girl. This is real simple. You want this over quick. You all play nice. And show your faces. <laughs> Please. He'll kill him. No, Alvin. We gotta go down there. I can't do that. Beck, the baby. You need a doctor. No. Where's Luke and Kenny? We have to help Carlos. Only way to help him is to do what the man says. What about Luke and Kenny? Look at those guns. We start shooting and people are gonna die on both sides. can sneak out. Find Lou. What the hell is she gonna do? And you heard him? Carver knows she's with us. Just stop! Don't hurt my dad, please! We're going down there. He'll kill you. Fuck you. Shoot him! Somebody just shoot him! Clem, go get help. He'll kill him, Beck. He'll do it anyway. You don't know that. He's gonna kill him. Rebecca, we have to give up. You don't want to do this. Please, let these people go. Just shut up. Clem, can you reach my hands? Everything under control? I'll try. Hey, Dad. Kenny! Don't move. I can't see him. It's Kenny, man. He's like a fucking ghost. to do this but you ain't leaving me much choice so here's what's gonna happen I'm gonna march another one of your friends out here and I'm gonna put a bullet in the back of their head ah! or you can give up now your choice that would be a no I help you motherfucker Alvin Bill no tell him to stop Kenny stop you remember George Alvin you see, I do. I remember a guy that was your friend named George. I remember when you murdered him in cold blood. And why? Because you didn't like me? You could have lodged a complaint. You could have... Well, you could have been civil. Bill, no! We'll do whatever you want! I love you, Beck. Bill, please! <laughs> We can do this all night. Is that what you want? It's one better fucking tapers. Kick him in the clams. Oh, Kenny, you motherfucker. Where's Luke? Finally cut and run, huh? Why am I not surprised? I warned you. I warned you not to follow him. Look where he's led you. But you're safe now. We're going home. As a family. 
All right, round them up. We're heading back to camp. I don't know if I could save Blount, but I know one of us didn't just give up. Yeah, I know. Folks are sore over what happened. But let's remember, these are our brothers and sisters, and they all have a vital role to play in this community. They strayed from the flock, yeah. That don't mean they can't earn their way back into the fold. That don't mean we can't find it in our hearts to forgive them, knowing full well. Those who choose not to accept our love, surely wish that they had. The storm is on the way. Right, so that's the end of that. Sorry about the interruption there, I just had the postman come. Um, so yeah, we're just going to leave that there. Um, and we'll do another video in a few days, I suppose. So, 